Yo, 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 what up? It's Kizzle from Kizzle's Picks, bringing you KBO Parlay of the Night and KBO Run Through slash KBO Picks and Predictions. All kinds of KBO to go over today and hopefully no cancellations. Uh, looks like if anything there could be one with the Hanwha game. That's the only potential one. Uh, NC game had rain earlier in the forecast, but now it's looking pretty good. So we should be able to get them in tonight, guys. Uh, usually you get one, but that's when Kai Wum's playing at home because they they're the only team with a dome. But since they're on the road right now, yeah, we didn't get any games at all. But it's all good. Uh, my NPB got really messed up yesterday because uh, I was looking at I found game logs I thought for NPB but it was called WOF uh, something so it's who's on first like simulation NPB baseball so I was looking at those game logs and I went to match them up today and I realized I was looking at something that's not real oh man I was so heated today when I found that out but Anyways, uh, we're back to normal on that, so yeah, that's that. Alright guys, so hit me up in the comments, hit that like button if you're new, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell because all betting is time sensitive usually, so you want to get them in when they drop. But with that said, let's start the fucking video. Alright, our first game of the night here is a little Samsung and KT. Samsung has the same picture going, but KT switched to Ko Young Piao. Alright, like I said, Ko Young Piao for KT and Choi Che Hyung for Samsung. He's 0 3 with a 6.64 ERA. Uh, he started the last couple games over here. Two runs in six innings, four runs, five innings, four runs, five innings. Kia, Dusan, Kia. So he's not really that great there, you know. Uh, ba ba KT. He faced Wago five runs in four and two third inning. And then on the other hand, Ko Young Piao. He was on fire till that last couple games, man. He was on that big winning streak. I know I was talking about it. All right? Oh. Uh, yeah, but he still went seven innings, one run, seven innings, three runs. It's Doosan, seven innings, one run, eight innings, shut off, seven innings, one run. Yeah, so he's been pitching great, man. Samsung, he faced seven innings, two runs. So we're expecting him to pitch pretty well still. Yeah, we expect him to almost, I'm not shut out Samsung, but maybe one run. Um, we like the over four and a half man. Um, I know that other pitcher is shitty for Samsung, but a lot of these games, KT would be scoring runs a lot later in the games. Their first fives, they don't really uh, score too many before the first half. So I kind of like this under. You know, uh, definitely love the minus half a run for KT there. That should be an easy one there. Um, but yeah, they don't really score too much in the beginning. And they drop down to like five, six runs a game anyways now. And yeah, we like that. And we like the full game under. And then KT on the run line today. That money line, there's a lot of juiced money lines today that I don't like. And I got a couple run line plays here that I don't know. Usually I wouldn't play, but I feel pretty comfortable with this one. Even though I got the under, I think it could be like a 5 to 2, 5, 3, 6, 2, maybe 6, 3, you know, but then it would be a push, but something like that, you know, KT winning by 3 or 4, so I think it should work out there. Next game. Now we got the NC Dinos and the Kia Tigers. So my mind switched a little bit on this because Kia switched pitchers to Mr. Panini over there. Yeah, so pitching for NC, Shinmin Hayek. 
uh, going up against Mr. Panini, Thomas Panoni for Kia. Panoni's been pretty good. He's 2 and 1 on the season with a 2.90 ERA. Ah, uh, here we go. Yeah, so he went 5 and a third, 3 runs to KT, 7 and a third, 3 runs to Kyle Womb. Lote, 2 earned and 5, 6 and 2 thirds, 3 to Hanwha. They shut out Lote over there, shut out NC uh, about a month ago. So, I think NC might come back with a little vengeance, but unfortunately they have Shinman Hayek pitching for them. Where, uh, yeah, he hasn't been so great as of late. He pitched three innings against SSG, shut out, went four and a third, gave up four to Hanwha, one run in five innings to KT, three earned in six to Kawum, and we go to Kia over here, five innings, three runs to Kia, and that's all he faced there. So, the way we're looking here, Man, they keep fucking... Okay, there we go. I had all my bets in a few minutes ago, and I walked outside to start recording, and they said remove closed picks, and they fucking removed 14 fucking picks, so I had to do them all over again. I was like, what the fuck? But anyways, that's another story. So, yeah, the way I'm looking over here, I got uh, first half over. If, if Kia can score the three that they scored last time, and Z2 will be straight. NC over the last 10 games is actually leading the league in home runs. Uh, they got 13 over 10 games, which is pretty good. I think the next person has like 8 or 9, which isn't that bad. But I don't know. I'm just not liking uh, NC tonight. Kia's fresh. Everybody's fresh. But, I mean, both teams, NC is coming off of 3 wins. Kia's coming off of 4 wins. So... It should be a good game, man. I like the over eight and a half runs, and I like Kia on the money line there. Next game. We have the Kai Boom Heroes and the SSG Landers, which if you can see right here, I have them on the run line. Oh, boy. After I talked so much shit about them yesterday, that I wouldn't take them on the run line, right? But today I have to, man. They got Kurt McCarty on the hill going up against Ian McKinney, who's 1-7 with a 6.34 ERA. If they can't score runs off of him, man, then they can't score at all. But uh, Kurt McCarty, you know, he's been great. I mean, he gave up four to NC, still caught the W. And seven and a third, and he goes. He can go deep in the game, so I'm liking uh, him to give up maybe like two runs or so to Kai Woom. He can usually go at least six, sometimes seven. He's faced Kai Woom, I think, three times or two times. Uh, one time here, six innings, two runs. Another time here, seven innings, zero earned, but they scored two. So yeah. I think he should do all right. He got beat up that one time in two and a third innings. Gave up two to Samsung. I don't know why he got taken out, but he did. Otherwise, his first game out, he gave up eight to Kia. Otherwise, he's been pretty straight all year. Ian McKinney, on the other hand. Um, I'll tell you why in a second. The reason why I like SSG against him, too. SSG is kind of, I don't know, them and Doosan, not anymore though, Doosan changed a lot, but SSG I consider kind of like uh, almost the Yankees, they hit a lot of home runs, man, they're leading the league in home runs, not over the last 10 like I said, but they're leading the league in home runs all year, so now if you look all the way over here, McKinney home runs, two last game, one the game before, one before that, one, one, and then two. He's on a six-game streak of giving up at least one home run. So, I think SSG could tee off on him. Um, they faced him one time, but that was his second outing, you know, where there wasn't any scouting reports yet and shit really on him. So, six innings shut out against them. Uh, otherwise, he went four innings, gave up six runs to Doosan last time. 
So yeah, we are not trusting him here. So we're going, we're going over four and a half first half. Uh, SSG minus half a run. SSG run line, but then we like the under of nine. I think uh, SSG can get, I don't know, five maybe off of McKinney. Maybe McCarty gives up one, maybe two. I guess you could say. So say it's like. Five to two after the first half, and it's uh, seven runs. And then I think since the bullpens haven't pitched this week yet, as long as Kai Woom doesn't put in somebody shitty, I think we could uh, be all right to hit this number here. So, yeah, that's that. And SSG, they're starting to score more now, though. They might only put up four, you know, in the first half, and... Uh, I won't put up one or two and we'll still get that first half and then we'll get that under so yeah I don't like that run line but that's the only way to play this unless you go maybe you go alternate let's see alternate minus one where is it come on man ah it's minus 210 that shit sucks too bro Jesus Wow, that's crazy. So maybe the under nine's a better play then. For the big boy, maybe do under 11. I don't know. It's all good though. Let's see. Game props over here. Yeah, because the SSG under five and a half. I can see that easily. Uh, Kai Wuma under three and a half. Yeah. I can see it being like five to three. Yeah, that makes sense. And then we'd be straight, you know? Alright, next game. We have the Lotte Giants and the Hanwha Eagles. Nothing has changed on this game. Same pictures, same feelings. And yeah. I'm going pretty much, I think, the same way that I had it down yesterday. I like the. Well, how about we go over the pictures first, huh? <laughs> Well, you can see yesterday, you probably watched it, so whatever, I don't really need to go too far into it, but we'll start with uh, Lee Tae Yang for Hanwha, he's 2-0 with a 2.30 ERA, uh, his last couple outings, he's been great, 5 innings, 1 run, 5 innings, 1 run, against Samsung and NC, who've been pretty much pretty good lately, so we like that, and he uh, was relief pitching pretty much before that so you can't really tell anything there Charlie Barnes on the other hand he's been uh, pretty good I think under the radar good this year you know like he's given up three he gave up six four 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 that's not too bad otherwise he's uh, four and under three and under last time out six innings three runs LG Kai Woom six innings one run Seven inning shutout at Kia. Five and two thirds shutout. Kai Woom. Three runs in six innings. NC. You catch my drift at Hanwa. Six innings, two runs. Hanwa again. Three and a third, three runs. And Hanwa one other time. Seven innings, one run. So yeah, you see why I take the under here. And I don't know. Hanwa has been struggling to score too. I think they're averaging. What was it, 12 runs over the last five? And Lotte's at like three runs over the last five or something. So I'm all over uh, this under and everything there. Just like yesterday, we got under four first half. I like Hanwha plus half a run. Uh, we're taking Hanwha plus one and a half. Maybe a little sprinkle in the money line. Uh, Lotte's lost seven in a row. Hanwha's lost six in a row. So somebody has to win tonight. You know, and I don't know. I feel like Hanwha might be doing better. They also have Ra, Rasi One or something. I forget how to say his name exactly, but he's the leading RBI getter and home run hitter in the league right now. He's got like 29, I think, home runs. The next person underneath him has 22 or 23. So I think they could... Uh, Get a little bit of offense with him going there. So I think we'll be all right with that Hanwha plus one and a half. I think if Lotte wins, it's going to be 
maybe one run game. As long as Hanwha doesn't blow it at the end, but they're the home team, so I think we're alright. Next game. Uh oh, I froze my screen. Alright, then we got Doosan and LG. The over under in this game was a little tricky for me. Um, we'll talk more after you see the pitchers. Alright, pitching for Doosan, Brandon Waddell. Pitching for LG is Yi Jung Young. Speaking of struggling to score, LG has not been putting up many runs in the last five. I think, uh,. They might be at 15 over 5, so they're like 3 runs a game. And C really put a hurting on them, man, on that 3 game sweep. Kind of crazy to see them uh, not playing so well. I think as of right now, I think KT is my uh, team to win it all, I think. I don't know. I think they're the most complete team at the moment. Jesus, spam. See ya. Alright, so, Brandon Waddell and Yi Jung Young. So, Yi Jung Young in six innings, two runs to Samsung. Five innings shutout to Chia and six innings shutout to Kai Woom. That's all I really want to look at because I think after that it's not so good. He went up against KT, gave up four, three innings. This is against Lotte too, but I think he's pitching better now. I mean, how long ago was it? It was July 9th, so almost two months ago. I think Holmes has changed a lot, and now he's definitely a starter. That was his third start, so I think he's got more confidence now, and I think he should be all right tonight. And Brandon Waddell. The problem is both of these pitchers can get blown up at a moment's notice, man. Well, Dell has a problem with walks and hit batters usually, right? Yeah, three walks, one hit batter last time. I've never seen anybody hit as many batters as him, man. It's fucking crazy. That's because he's got that lefty trying to throw that hook on him. Probably don't break anymore, you know? But anyways, uh, against Kai Woom last time, two earned runs. Seven to KT. Hanwha one in six innings. Shut out KT in seven. Uh, last time he faced LG, he gave up seven earned runs in four innings. So, I mean, I don't know if that's going to happen today with LG struggling. So, so I had the first half under for most of the day today, thinking both of these pitchers would pitch good. But then you look at those stats and you're like, oh, shit. And... Then you look at Doosan averaging eight runs a game in the last five. I wanted to take them to win tonight, but I like LG's pitcher on the hills, and I think he can pitch pretty well. So we're going over four and a half first half. We're taking LG minus half a run. I think that minus half a run will be in a parlay for sure. Um, that LG money line, and then we got over of eight and a half. I had the under at first, and... Like I said, I remember that Doosan averaging eight runs a game and LG coming off of a sweep to NC. I think they're back for vengeance today. They've had uh, an extra day off too. I think they're going to be ready to play here. They see their lead slipping a little bit. I think KT is only four and a half games back now. So they definitely want to get that first place slot so you can rest uh, all your players for those playoffs, you know. Yeah, if you guys don't know how the playoffs work in uh, KBO, hit me up in the comments. I'll explain it to you, or I'll even do a little video on it or something. It's it's pretty cool. It's like a ladder playoff. It's pretty tight. The first uh, place team gets the time off and waiting on everybody else, but that'll be a different video. So, anyways, guys, thanks for listening. Hang tight, and I'll bring you some parlays. All right, guys, here's the first parlay of the day. It's so a plus 1649. 10 will catch you just about 175. One penny shy. Not too bad. So we is going uh, Samsung KT under 9. NC Kia over 8.5. Then we're going LG money line. I had LG minus half a run first half, but we put LG money line instead. Why not? Then you go over here, and we got SSG, 
minus half a run first half and Hanwha plus half a run first half so those should be all right time will catch you 175 hang on and i'll hook you up with a full game in the first half hold up thanks all right guys here's the full gamer i'm gonna actually probably play it two ways here because one plays ssg on the run line and uh you know how i feel about that so if you play SSG run line, it's a plus 1840. 10 will catch you 194. But if you do the under 9, it would be a 1983. 10 will catch you 208. So that's not too bad there. We'll do both of those. Alright, so first game, we're going KT on the run line. We got to go KT money line. I didn't want to use the over eight and a half again, but if you want to do that, go right ahead. If you don't think he is going to win, but I think they're going to win, so that's why I got that. All right, SSG minus one and a half or under nine. Uh, Hanwa Lote under eight. And do sound and LG over eight and a half. Because if you put LG money line on here, dude, it's not even worth it. It's like. Uh, a 150 payout, you know, so I had to switch that to the over. It's crazy, but anyways, guys, hold up and I'll bring you a first half. All right, guys, and for the last one, the first half, we are also going two ways here because I cannot decide on this Hanwha first half play. I don't know if I like the under four better. Or the plus half a run. So we're going to go with both. Why not? You know, so if you did the plus half a run, you're looking at a 2079. 10 will catch you 217, almost 218. If you did the under of four with two struggling teams, plus 2176, 10 will catch you 227. So that's not too shabby. All right, so we're going KT minus half a run. Uh, NC Kia over four and a half. Kai Wung SSG over four and a half. Hanwha Lote, you already know, plus half a run and under four. And then we is going with LG minus half a run. I'm thinking they should have that lead, man. It better be like a three to one or something. I don't know, man. It better be right, so we'll see what happens there so yeah like i said boom plus half a run is uh 10 will catch you almost 218 under four will catch you 227 not too shabby all right guys thanks for listening i appreciate all you guys hopefully we catch these again um yeah we're if we win tonight man we're on the streak still you know so let's see what happens because we won the other night and yeah, hopefully we win again. Alrighty, have a great day slash night. And yeah, good luck. God bless. Give up. Peace.